Hello world. Hello YouTube. Hello everybody. This is uh, Purity White Cloud coming at you. And this is take three. I might put the other two out takes. <laughs> um, this is a video about, uh, well, I'm going to name it Loud and Proud or Without a Sound. What brings this video on is uh, I have this terrible dilemma, right, with my dogs. Getting better than that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm deciding on whether to keep them, whether to deal with them, what to do with them. <clears throat> and this is a very, and then it started really blossoming into this very, very serious um, problem, right? To whereas. Um, you know, one of them's in heat, the, you know, Mata, and just driving meaning nuts, you know, and he can't manage it, and, you know, that's enough of that. But it's a, still a real pain, you know, to keep your bitch, and I mean it literally, I'm not cursing, um, because this is, you know, this is Nature Channel here, You're right, <laughs> am I blushing? Anyway, um, you got to keep them sequestered. You got to keep them away because you don't want puppies at just any given moment, right? Because that's another thing that's going to be discussed here in a minute. And uh, it brings on the the question of what, how valuable? What is the value in dogs? <clears throat> Some people, oh man, they just this and that and. They'd be just indispensable and all that and this. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm having a problem. I hope everyone tolerates this long video because it's a long subject. Um, the upkeep, care, the animal husbandry that you have to practice to keep dogs in the domestic realm, you know, is really quite a, you know, it's quite a feat. Now... In the breakdown, first of all, feeding them would be, you know, a real issue. Because dog food isn't going to be made. So you're going to have to split your food with them. And that leads to its own problems. You know, dogs don't just eat people food. It, let me tell you, it doesn't do well. And uh, that kind of thing, or else you'd be ha having to hunt just for them to eat. And another thing, you might end up eating them kind of thing. Now, let's get real here. Protein's protein. Or they might just end up eating you, right? They would, you know, I mean, a hungry dog, there's a, in every dog, there's a wolf inside, without question. And, uh, and so that's one of the questions. Now, I'm thinking about getting rid of my dogs. Just absolutely, you know, I've, I've, first of all, I've had enough. I don't need the frustration in my life, you know, I think. Maybe this is a personal thing that I'm just being lazy. But it's a real pain. I can't travel anywhere. I can't do anything for, like, overnight unless somebody's feeding and watching the dogs. I have a neighbor next door here. Um, their dog jumps the fence. Like, that fence ain't even there. Right, and it's, it's a real pain. He's a fertile male. So now I have to be out here, and I had to go over to my neighbor's house and said, dude, if I catch your dog in my yard, you know, I'll plug it. Um, now I'm probably going to... That's going to ruin my video. Anyway, I'll take steps. Right, I don't know what I'd do, honestly. But, you know, you can't have a fertile male coming over when your dog's in the heat and have unwanted puppies. Now, some would say that, now that we're talking the, the puppy thing, Mara, um, well, man, you could that would be highly invaluable in the, the breakdown, and people need dogs, they have to have dogs, and want dogs, and you could really, you know, barter trade, and, you know, have yourself a good resource, asset and resource. And that's to a point, yes. But the other point being is, if you give your puppy, say, to a fellow or another group, crew, clan, family, 
And they're not as good as you at animal husbandry, keeping their dog and, and animals squared away and uh, doing what they need to do. And say it gets away. And uh, it goes feral. Now, you got this feral dog out there in the perimeter. You know, not turned into a wolf. That's all it's to it. It's, it may be the dog, but no, now it's a wolf. It may not look like a wolf, but now it's a wolf. Now, your children, you, and all that have to interact with the uh, environment with these this dog. Now, let's further that. If you have a litter and don't get rid of all of them, right? You either have to uh, take care of them or take care of them due to the fact that you can't have, if they say half the litter gets away and turns feral, right, um, now you have a pack out there. Now you have a breeding community of dogs impacting you and your environment now for the loud and proud or without a sound um dogs if you have a dog okay yes it's a good sentinel yes they guard yes they do all kinds of things keep people off you because you won't challenge a dog you challenge a human with a gun faster than you would challenge a dog right because a dog will bite you you ain't know this talking a dog out of biting you you can kill you know, a human with a gun on you. Hey, bro, you know, be cool, you know. Like, you know, you're hanging. What's up? Dog just take a chunk out of your ass. Yeah. <laughs> so people are fear dogs more than any, most anything fearful. Right? On the other hand, that's loud and proud. Okay, dog, if someone comes around, blah, 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 right? Now, on the other hand, like I said, what if you don't want that dog barking? Because a dog is what what is a tell. A tell is like what we say out here in Nevada, you know, the gambling state. And a lot of poker players know that, you know, if you twitch or something, a little ginch winch or anything, that's, if you got a good poker hand, poker hand, and you, ooh, hey, and, um, ah, you're busted. Right? Well, if someone's strolling along and a dog sees that person strolling in the distance and he goes off, bar, 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 right? Well, now this person strolling along knows that there is a kept dog in the distance. Now, if that's a kept dog, that's a fed dog. A fed dog has food around him because there's someone that's eating, keeping that dog alive yet. And that tells the tale of someone, oh, there's someone out there. Right? In that case, you would have to just absolutely forego any kind of security, any kind of uh, stealth, hiding, um, being tucked away in any way, shape, or form. Loud and proud. My place is here, and I got these dogs, we got all these other people, and if you come messing with it, you know, we'll sick the dogs on you, or we'll shoot you, blah, blah, blah. And everybody comes by, they can buy, sell, trade, it's like a trading post or something, or... You know, the old fort back in the day. They had the big Pegwood fort, like Boonesboro, you know, down Boone and all that. And everybody knew. And when you went there, you didn't play. Because things could go badly. And if you mess it up, you can't go there again to buy, sell, trade, or get stuff that you might need. You can't burn it down, because now what? What are you going to do next year? Right? So you're going to have to be that way. And there's yet more aspects to that in which um, you'd have to have a semi-feudal system to protect your stuff, just like they did back in the, the fiefdom days, right? Where everyone had to trundle up to the castle when the marauders came around, and you'd have to keep most of your stuff in the castle. Otherwise, you know, if you have these homesteads, you, you get wiped out. You would just get wiped out. That aside... And um, for that, you need dog, cows, chicken, pigs, you know, all that kind of thing. Now, if you wanted to go stealth, if you wanted to be quiet or sequestered, you could not have a dog. No way. You'd have to train that dog not to bark. And this is inherent. 
And this is why you have it. Right? Not one bark. Because that dog bark. And even if you didn't come around or it didn't see you or anything like that, how many people have experienced or have a dog that just sits and barks for no dang reason? Right? I call it blank barking. They will just sit there in the night, bark, 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 always in threes or fours and ones and twos. Believe me, I've had a, th <laughs> how many dogs? They just sit there out in that yard and now someone's sneaking around and you're trying to be sneaky and don't want to be noticed and someone going along the road and walking off into the forest or wherever, bark, bark, bark. Bark. Bark, 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 bark. Bark, bark. This is a sign. Blank barking is a sign of a dog that's behind a fence. He's bored. Or this and that. Because dogs in the wild, I don't, I don't know. I don't think they bark, maybe howl to communicate with each other. But they don't blank bark like that. You know, bark at nothing. Because they just want to hear themselves bark. And ain't shit better to do or nothing better to do. Sorry. Right? You could not have that. You cannot have a sound. Not the chop of a wood. You know, you use your axe peek, peek, into a tree. You know, and a dog is an absolute detriment. So now I have to weigh, and people have to weigh, the, uh, the aspect of having dogs. Dogs are an asset, yet a detriment. In so many ways... And uh, you'll have to make a grand, I mean, a big, big decision as to whether they need to keep a dog and or um, market dogs. Say, like I say, you know, oh, puppies, hey, everybody, everyone wants a dog because, you know, everyone wants a dog. You know, it'll, and if you have a favorite dog, it'll tear, tear your dog up. All these pregnancies, and then if you get one in heat, and you don't want a batch, and then you got all these other dogs sniffing around, right? And now you got these dogs, and if you have feral dogs, like Mata, she's quarter coyote. You'll have feral dogs, wild dogs, canines, like wolves, coyotes, coming around your house, right? Your kids are out there playing. You are out there hunting. These dogs don't play. They like uh, out here, right? You get five, six of these coyotes, they'll take you down. They will take you. Mm hmm. One or two, maybe three. You could, you know, throw rocks, this and that. You get a good pack of five, six, eight coyotes. They will take you down, and they will deal. They will dispatch you with not a problem. You think, oh, I'm here and oh, you know. And you can't shoot quick enough. You know, they, they're, they're slick. They hunt for a living. Right? This ain't your yard dog or something that you can just grab onto. And, I'm going to kill a dog. Mm-mm-mm. So, when, and then when you have a batch, and say a quarter to a third of them get away from you each time. Even two or three, one or two. Pretty soon. You've got a uh, wild dog population outside your fence, gate, or yard, or whatever, fort, camp, that's going to be a serious danger. You know, like, a, you know, five or six, no problem. You will be not a problem to them, no matter what weapon you have. Right? And, and you're the one that let them out there. So I really, really have to deal with this question. You know, because they're a big pain in the ass. No kids anymore. No one here to let them out. Feed them if I'm out. Or if we all go, you know. Plus feeding them in a breakdown. Plus the reproductive issues. This is a serious, serious subject. Because I've seen other preppers, you know, I feed this dog this, I feed this dog that. I'm like, yeah, really? I don't know, man. Anyway, 15 minutes of dog talk. Loud and proud or without a sound, you got to make a decision.
All right. Live by your wits, not by your worries. Peace. Bye. <laughs> la, la. Hey, let me try this out. Hello, world. Hello, YouTube. Hello, everybody. Um, this is a video. Hope I do well. You know, you got to have a certain magic when you do your videos. Or else they just don't, you know. Got to have the magic. Anyway, this one's about, um, I'm going to call this one, oh, this is I Will Be Derned, or no. No, it's not. Let me look. Hello, world. Hello, YouTube. Hello, everybody. This is Purity White Cloud coming at you, and uh, I'm going to name this video. <clears throat> it's not a ghetto prepper video, but it could fit, but it won't. More like uh, medieval prepper. <laughs> yeah. hmm. Anyway, um, I'm going to name this video... How did I put that? Loud and proud, or uh, try that again. <laughs>